So it's the news that has astronomers rather excited. The discovery of an Earth-like planet given the catchy name Kepler 452b. Scientists are really excited because they found this planet. Uh, NASA says plants from Earth could be transferred there and would probably survive. Uh, but it might be some time before that actually happens as it's 1,400 light years away as our science editor David Shookman reports. In a distant solar system, an amazing discovery. The first planet to be found that's very like ours. The American space agency NASA released this artist's impression tonight of a world that could conceivably host life. An amazing discovery by NASA to tell you about. The space agency says it has found what it's calling Earth's cousin, the most similar planet to our own they've ever found. It is certainly the strongest sign we have seen yet. Right? That can't be denied. So I can realistically say that we could confirm the signal within one or two years. K218b is two and a half times the size of Earth and it's 700 trillion miles away. The James Webb Space Telescope is so powerful it can analyse the chemical composition of the atmosphere from the light that passes through it from the small red star it orbits. Its chemical signature seems to suggest that it contains molecules which on Earth can only be produced by living organisms and it's such a strong signal that if it is home to life, it's plentiful. From UFOs to possible alien abductions, we're fascinated by the idea of extraterrestrial life. Now, scientists have found the strongest evidence yet that a planet 124 light years away could be home to life. Researchers detected molecules in the atmosphere on the K218b, which on Earth are produced by marine organisms. Could this be the moment we first glimpse signs of life beyond Earth? In a groundbreaking discovery, the James Webb Space Telescope has detected chemical compounds in the atmosphere of a distant exoplanet that may hint at alien biology. The planet K2118b, located 24 light years away in the constellation Leo, is now at the heart of what could become one of the most transformative moments in space exploration. Two compounds typically found on Earth in connection with life, D-methyl sulfide and D-methyl disulfide, were detected. While not definitive proof of alien life, the finding has ignited global scientific curiosity. In this video, we'll explore what the telescope observed, what it could mean, and whether this marks a true breakthrough in the search for life beyond our planet. The discovery, the chemical whispers from a distant world. The James Webb Space Telescope, often called the successor to Hubble, is transforming our ability to explore the cosmos. In a recent study led by Professor Nikhu Madder Sutton from the University of Cambridge, Webb turned its infrared gaze on K218b, a Haitian world, a type of exoplanet believed to host oceans under hydrogen-rich skies. These planets are emerging as strong candidates in the hunt for life due to their potential to support liquid water and maintain stable climates. As k 218 b passed in front of its red dwarf star, Webb captured starlight that had filtered through the planet's atmosphere by analyzing how different wavelengths were absorbed. Scientists were able to detect the presence of specific molecules, and what stood out were chemical signatures that matched dimethyl sulfide DMS and dimethyl desulfide DMDS. This is highly significant. On Earth, DMS is produced almost exclusively by marine phytoplankton, and DMDS is linked to the breakdown of organic matter. Their presence in a distant planet's atmosphere is a tantalizing hint that biological processes could be occurring. Even more striking is the strength of the signal. The concentrations appear to be thousands of times higher than those typically found on Earth, suggesting either an incredibly active biosphere or an entirely unfamiliar mechanism. The detection reached three sigma statistical confidence, meaning there's only a 0.3% chance that the signal is a fluke. While this is robust by astronomy standards, it's still below the five sigma threshold often used in physics to confirm discoveries with high certainty. 
This is the strongest evidence to date for biological activity beyond the solar system, said Professor Matsuhiden. Decades from now, we may look back at this point in time and recognize it was when the living universe came within reach. The debate, not so fast. Can molecules mislead us? Despite the excitement, many scientists are urging caution. The universe is full of surprises, and chemistry can sometimes imitate biology in unexpected ways. One major concern is that neither DMS nor DMDs is uniquely biological. While they're considered biosignatures on Earth, scientists like Dr. Nora Henney from the University of Bern point out that DMS has been detected on comets, lifeless icy bodies in our solar system. We would have to strictly rule out all the other options before claiming life, she warns. There's also uncertainty surrounding K218b itself. While Mitchell theme argues the planet could be an ocean world, some models suggest it might be more like a mini Neptune with no solid surface or even host oceans of magma instead of water. These conflicting interpretations make it hard to determine whether life could even exist there. Abiotic processes could also be responsible for the observed molecules, high energy conditions such as volcanic eruptions, lightning, or hydrothermal vents might produce DMS and DMDs without life. The intense radiation from Caddy Fontide 18 B's red dwarf star adds further complexity, possibly fueling exotic chemical reactions in its atmosphere that we don't yet understand. Another theory proposes cometary delivery. DMS or its precursors could have been brought in by frequent impacts, but to account for the observed concentrations, this bombardment would have to occur at an implausibly high rate, which most experts consider unlikely. Dr. Joe Barstow of The Open University sums it up. My skepticism dial for any claim relating to evidence of life is permanently turned up to 11. Not because I don't think life is out there, but because the burden of proof must be very, very high. That burden, often associated with a five sigma statistical threshold, has not yet been met. There's also a philosophical angle to this debate. Doc Marilyn Moley from the University of Texas at Austin suggests that more definitive evidence might come not from chemistry, but from unmistakable signs of intelligent life, like artificial light patterns or deliberate radio transmissions. Such technosignatures, while far less likely to be discovered, would be nearly impossible to misinterpret. The Big Picture, a new era in astrobiology and human imagination. Regardless of the final verdict on Key 218b, the discovery is changing the way we approach the search for life in the universe. This marks the first time that potentially biological molecules have been identified in the atmosphere of a planet orbiting in the habitable zone. And it's not even an Earth-like world. This brings the concept of Hycean planets into the spotlight. These are large, water-rich worlds with hydrogen-dominated atmospheres likely covered by vast global oceans. They differ significantly from rocky planets like Earth, but their stable conditions and abundance of liquid water could make them just as habitable, if not more so. Intriguingly, recent estimates suggest Hassin planets might be more common across the galaxy than Earth-like ones, dramatically expanding our list of potential life-hosting candidates Central to this exploration is the understanding of biosignatures, measurable substances that suggest biological activity. Scientists don't just look for a single molecule like DMS. Instead, they evaluate its context, its concentration, how it interacts with other gases, and whether it forms part of a chemical imbalance that can't be easily explained by non-living processes. For instance, the simultaneous presence of oxygen and methane on Earth is a powerful biosignature because these gases naturally destroy each other unless continuously replenished by life. But biosignatures aren't infallible. Volcanic gases, comet impacts, and other abiotic processes 
can sometimes create similar chemical patterns known as false positives. To guard against this, scientists rely on sophisticated climate modeling, comparative data from multiple exoplanets, and simulations of exotic chemistry to ensure accurate interpretations. When biosignatures alone don't provide clarity, the search turns to technosignatures, evidence of technology or intelligent life. These include artificial light emissions, laser pulses, or clusters of satellites in orbit. Any detectable feature that would strongly suggest deliberate engineering. Organizations like SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, are dedicated to finding these kinds of signals. While the odds are long, the payoff would be conclusive. Looking ahead, the detection on k 2 team b is only the beginning. The European Space Agency's Ariel mission, launching in 2029, will examine hundreds of exoplanet atmospheres, many of them Haitian. It will provide deeper insights into planetary climates, compositions, and potential biosignatures. NASA is also developing the Habitable Worlds Observatory, a next-generation space telescope expected in the late 2030s. It will be capable of directly imaging Earth-like planets and identifying signs of life through reflected light, weather systems, and possibly even seasonal changes. Further in the future, visionary concepts like LUVAR and LIFE, large interferometer for exoplanets, may allow us to not only detect biosignatures, but to map the surfaces of distant worlds, spotting oceans, continents, vegetation zones, and daily rotation patterns. This would usher in a new era of exoclimatology, the science of studying the climates of other planets in detail. Ultimately, k 218 Boer is more than just another planet in the sky. It represents a turning point in astrobiology, showing how far our instruments and our curiosity have come. If life is out there, discoveries like this one are bringing us ever closer to finding it.